What's up, guys? Oh, Sean, I'm here. Now, before we get into the uh, fight talk and your upcoming title fight, I have to ask, uh, your name's on the canvas. We've looks, noticed. Next looks to good, the, huh? Sweet Sweat, Giant Pink Letters. How'd that come about? Yeah, we're dropping a limited edition, you know, Sweet, uh, sweet Sweat Shift collaboration, you know, coming soon. Can't say too much about it right now, but how sweet is that? See Sugar in the Octagon right there with Sweet Sweat, nice and pink. I love it. But staying on that, obviously the title shot was always your ultimate goal in the UFC, but when you're getting all of these these opportunities, like your name on the canvas, I think like only only really Connor has really had that, like with Chopper 12 and stuff like that. So what are the, like are there other goals you're trying to hit besides these title shots? Um you know, I think title shots most important right now. With that comes a lot of other opportunities. So main focus right now is on Alex Main, that's it. So sticking with the Alex Main, then uh, we're only obviously a, a, a month or so away from your fight. A month and a half, six weeks. Six weeks away from your fight. How's camp been? Uh, like, could you like how's like how is camp? It's been really good. It's been longer. You know, it's five rounds. It's my first five round fight, so definitely started a little bit sooner. Um, I've been in, in camp for about six, seven weeks already. Definitely started sparring further out than I usually do. Um, you know, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Well, Dominic Cruz has said in the past when he's like, there's a significant difference in preparing for a five-round fight than a three-round fight. So besides the, the sparring earlier and been in camp longer, are there any major differences in this camp? That is pretty major. It's just, yeah, the extra two rounds. You know, three rounds compared to five rounds is it's a lot. Ten minutes of fighting is a long time. So uh, just the extra sparring, you know, the extra sprints, the extra everything that goes into the, a title fight camp is uh, it's interesting. It's fun. And, Aljamain's obviously he's been the champ for a while. I think he's tied or might have the record for most title defenses. Is this a guy that you think you would have to beat twice in a row? Because normally when you get these long reigning champions, you beat them, they can oftentimes get an immediate rematch. Do you think this is a guy that you're going to have to beat twice? I, I know he said after this fight he's going up to 45 regardless. So this is a risky fight for him. He could go up right now, be champ, and, and get that potential you know, champ champ fight. Um, but he's risking it because he knows he's going to get paid. This is a big, big fight for him pay per view wise. As far as beating him twice, there's so many interesting guys in the division right now. Um, I know Figueredo's fight Dominic Cruz. Um, so there, there's some interesting fights around the corner. So I, I'd say no. Go in there, get the job done. He goes up, goes up to 45. No one cares. And, and then I keep fighting. What do you make of this Corey Sanhagen who won fight? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, doesn't make sense in my eyes. You know, I think we're just look at fighting, look at business differently. And, uh, you know, I think it's a very poor decision. Go out there and win. It's it's, it's not, you know, Umar's good. Beating Umar's big, but it's, he's, you know, Cheeto, he just worked Cheeto. Cheeto was about to fight Henry, who just fought for the title. So I just think it's a, you know, poor decision on his managing part, management part. But everyone's, you know, do their own thing. Well, it was just actually revealed that Chido's going to fight Pedro Munoz now on your card. What do you make of that matchup? Yeah, two dudes I finished. Interesting fight. Uh, you know, I'm very... Pedro looked good against Gutierrez, so I think... And Chido looked really good against Corey. Just kidding. He did not. He looked horrible. He literally didn't look like he knew how to wrestle. Um, so, just going off their last two fights, I think Pedro can go in there and get the job done. The final one for me, um, we just saw Robbie Lawler retire after a big knockout. We saw the... A rarely emotional Robbie Lawler. So I'm curious, what was your reaction to arguably one of the better retirements in MMA history? Yeah, we were just driving over watching on the phone, and uh, that's crazy. Tim said he made his UFC debut in like uh, 2001, 2002. That's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. It's it, yeah, good for him. Deshaun over here. I don't know if you're taking a look at the betting odds, but Aljamain's almost like a three to one favorite. You're one of the most, if not the most, popular bantamweight fighter in the division. Does the that most. surprise you? Uh, to see the odds that wide? Not really. I mean, look at look at who he's beat. Look at the guys he's he's beaten the last four or five fights. You know, my best win is over Peter Yan. Very close fight. Very tough fight. So you know, looking at it like that, it makes sense. But you know, that's what that was what Peter versus me was the same odds. Something you know, I think they were even worse at one point. So I like that. It fuels me. Um, it's exciting to go in there and fight the best bantamweight in the world. I go out there and put his lights out. What does that make me? Um, Henry Cejudo, we mentioned there was supposed to fight uh, Chito Vera. It looks like they're still trying to set up that fight with Marab. 
Are you worried that that fight might never happen? Because it seemed like there was a lot of heat. It would be a good fight for everyone, you and Henry fight. Um, I don't know if Henry's come. Yeah, that, I mean, his shoulder, I think he's had issues with his shoulder in the past. Who knows how bad it is right now. I don't, I personally don't think we see Henry back. So, but if he, if he does come back, gets a win, very, very interesting fight. Me versus Henry is a huge fight. And just last one for me, what would it mean to win a UFC title and being a veteran of the Contender Series? You know, we saw Jamal Hill win the title. I know that's something you're really proud of. What would that mean to you to win it just as being one of the fighters that came from that show? Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, I think the Contender Series is the best platform to get into the UFC, and being there early on was, is super cool. I feel like it was so long ago. Um, it was my first fight in Vegas. I think I've fought here 10 times now, so it feels like a second home. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be really cool to defend my belt here in Vegas in December if all goes well. Definitely not overlooking Aljamain Sterling. I understand how good he is. So, um, but if all goes well, I'd like to you know bring the belt back back here and, and defend it. Sean, uh, do you secretly did you secretly want your, your first title um, chance to be in Vegas? You know, all, all your fights basically had been in Vegas, fighting in Boston, like. Did you want your first title shot to be in Vegas? Yeah, not secretly. I would love my, my first title defense to be in Vegas. You know, I got Resorts World right there, fight week, make it nice and easy for me. Head over there after after party at Zook, which is also happening tonight. But yeah, Vegas, I would love to. I love fighting in Vegas. I mean, I'm very excited to fight in Boston, though. I really am. But Vegas, it's just, it's just something different here. Do you have anything uh, planned for your hair? Um, I don't really have a color. Who knows? Who knows what we're gonna do? It's kind of always last second, but it'll be beautiful as always. And finally, 